Her grandchildren call her Bionic Nana. She's the first person in the country to receive a microchip in her eye as part of a clinical trial to help her see. For legal reasons, we can't name her, but she has a condition called dry age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, and it's caused blindness in her left eye. Are you ready? Very good. Here comes the glasses. And this is the moment she regained some sight. What can you see? Flashing lights. Flashing lights. The improvements are small, but they could have a big impact on her life. I want to be able to go out more, because I haven't been going out all that much. I just go down to church on a Saturday and I don't go out there during the week, so maybe be better now if I can see better. This is what life looks like for some people with AMD. There is currently no medical treatment for this condition and that's why this procedure, if considered to be effective, could change lives. So this is uh, a new era. Uh, all the previous chips I was involved with, one particular one as well, uh, this is another step above all of that. So uh, we expect vision outcomes to be better. During the operation, surgeons insert a two millimetre wide microchip into the patient's retina. Once complete, the patient puts on a pair of special glasses fitted with a video camera, which is connected to a small computer on the waistband. The glasses then capture the visual scene and a signal is passed through the eye where it is interpreted as if it were natural vision. This is a big moment, but it's the first step in a long process. The patient who had an implant fitted here has a year of rehabilitation ahead of her to learn to use the equipment properly. And only when the trial is completed will we know just how well the implant works. But Britain's bionic nana is taking it all in a stride. Yes, I've been seeing my grandchildren. And <laughs> when I look in the mirror, I'm going to get a shock. <laughs> it's very early days for this sort of procedure. It's still not been approved for routine use, nor is it clear if the NHS will pay for it. But for some patients, today offers a little hope. Deborah Cohen, News at 10.